Hey y'all, I Rick Sky here and I want to provide a quick initial impressions video for the Gorilla Cart. And you can expand this video's description and then click the link there to find where to order it online. But I was looking at wheelbarrows and I'm like, man, they're expensive. They seem to be the kind of the same basic design. You got a single wheel on the front that's often not even a quality wheel. You've got wood or if you spend more, you get metal, you know, for the two things. And you're basically, you know, using a wheelbarrow. You got one wheel in the front, and it's just not, in my opinion, a cutting edge experience. So when I was looking at wheelbarrows, I found the, actually, I found some comments saying, hey, man, get a gorilla cart. And I'm like, what the heck's a gorilla cart? You know, it sounded cool. But uh, I looked it up, and then I looked at the prices, and I'm like, man, this isn't bad at all. And again, I don't quote prices, but you can expand this video's description and click the link there to find the uh, current pricing, but I felt in comparison to, uh, to wheelbarrows that the price was very, uh, was very reasonable. And then you can see here the maneuverability. And we're gonna do some demonstrations here. So it's easy to maneuver. These are inflatable tires. So you just use a, uh, I think it's, it's not the, well, you know, a bicycle tire, that type of valve. That's all it is. So you use a bicycle pump. Or in my case, I have a uh, I have an air compressor for pumping up car tires. It's the same style connector that you'll find on most any car tire. You just unscrew the little nipple cover, and then you inflate it. And these said they're good up to 30 psi. So definitely, you know, I recommend out of the box after assembling it. And by the way, check out my assembly video. I filmed the entire assembly process for the Gorilla Cart, step by step. It's actually an easy one-person job. So. I did inflate these. I didn't go to 30. I went to 27 PSI out of the box. Even though they felt inflated, they were, uh, they were well below 20 PSI. So definitely take the time to check the tire pressure and then inflate it. So these are inflated to 27 PSI. But I'm going to show you a few cool things this will do. So number one, you can pull this right here and you can dump. See? It's a dump cart. Look at that. And then you put it back down and it latches into place so it's not going to move until you pull and lift up so if you're you know if you're hauling uh mulch if you're hauling dirt if you're hauling whatever you know the ability to easily quickly and easily just pull and dump is a major convenience you know that's not something you can do with a wheelbarrow you can dump with a wheelbarrow but you're using your arms to lift it up with this it's on the ground and you just pull and boom there it goes this is made out of a premium and i don't want to misquote the material but it's a premium high grade type plastic so it's something that should not rust i mean it's it's nice and the handle feels really good the handle has a grippy type finish to it so if you're hot and sweaty like i am right now it's over 100 degrees i'm just dripping in sweat but with that being the case i didn't want to not film this video so we're going to walk around here with this gorilla cart and I'm going to show you how easy it is to move, move around, see? You go up hill. Check the link within this video's description to keep me 100% accurate, but I think this will, this will accommodate several hundred pounds of stuff. So... I mean, you know, it's, if you're looking at a wheelbarrow today, on today's market, if you're looking for, at a wheelbarrow, you're not cutting edge, man. If you're looking at a wheelbarrow, you're not cutting edge. You need to look at these. And again, this is just my initial impressions video. You know, so stay tuned for my follow-up videos. I'm going to be hauling a bunch of junk with this when I go up a big hill. So... I'm going to do a bunch of follow-up videos. If you have specific questions, please comment below and I'll try to answer. You know, this, this, is, a, this is a cool thing. So again, to show you how the dumping thing works, see, I just pull up. And see, it's maneuverable. See, look at that. Imagine it's been loaded up and you know how maneuverable it is. And then you get it to where you want it to be. You pull this, you dump your stuff out, man. You dump your stuff out. 
So, I mean, that, that, is, that is super cool, super convenient. And again, the price, the price is what really, you know, it blew my mind. It was not expensive like I, you know, I felt that, you know, something like this probably would be just looking at the design. I mean, the design is high end and you can get a lot higher end models than the one I got. But, you know, for my use case, I don't, I don't need a higher end model, but they've got tons of models. And again, expand this video's description and click the link there and you can find all kinds of models. But ultimately you can find the one like I'm using, which I feel from a dollar's perspective, you know, the, the build quality, the ease of assembly. I mean, it only took, watch my video, I filmed the entire process. It, it didn't take that long to assemble. Definitely when you assemble, if you've got a socket set, use that instead of a wrench. Now you will need a wrench or needle nose, or you, well, you, you will need some pliers for the finishing step for the little uh, tire step but yeah definitely use a socket set for the uh, for the other part of the assembly grill carts man i mean dude i mean good job initial impressions of mine are highly favorable it's easy to maneuver i like the high quality inflatable tires you know like a bicycle or a car tire i can use the same type thing to inflate it that's huge because a lot of tools you get they got cheap tires and they just wear out doesn't matter how nice the wheelbarrow or whatever is, if it if it's poorly made and it's not built to last, it's a waste of money. So I felt that the build quality, again, since I assembled it myself, step by step, all the components were top notch. The 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 uh, little tub right here is top notch, and then the frame and the wheels and the handle are top notch. And you know all the bolts and the washers and the nuts, they're high quality. So initial impressions, man, grill cart. Grill cart, cool stuff. I mean, it's it's the grill cart. Tell me what you think within the comment section below. Be sure to subscribe. And when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. And again, if you're shopping for the grill cart like I'm using or any other grill cart, expand this video's description and then click the link there and you can find where to order it online. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.